السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لذلكه والصلاة على نبيه محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم May praise be to Allah the creator of the worlds and peace and blessings be upon his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam May Allah give us tawfiq to follow the teachings of Islam in all spheres of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajeem bismillahi rahmani rahim In الدين عند الله الإسلام سورة آل عمران chapter number 3 آية 19 the آية means verily the religion before Allah is Islam at another place Allah سبحانه وتعالى says وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِ غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهِ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ سورة آل عمران Chapter number 3, Ayah 85 The Ayah means If anyone desires a religion other than Islam Never it will be accepted of him and in the hereafter he will be in the ranks of those who have lost. Islam is an Arabic word that means submission and surrendering to the will of the Almighty Allah. Islam is the perfect form of the true religion and complete way of life. The basic tenets of Islam include oneness of Allah, belief in prophets and messengers, belief in angels, belief in heavenly books, belief in destiny, belief in resurrection, and belief in the day of judgment, paradise and hell it is. Islam is a heavenly religion. The Prophet of Islam, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Those who follow Islam are called Muslims. Muslims believe in all messengers and prophets. From Sayyidina Adam to Isa Nabiyina alayhi salatu wa salam, according to some traditions, there were more than 100,000 prophets throughout the world. These messengers and prophets were sent in all parts of the world and in all nations, whether we know their names or not. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last of this golden chain. He is the seal of the prophets. Upon him, Allah Almighty completed his religion and finished the chain of sending prophets. Now, the ultimate and final religion of Allah is Islam. It is the only religion that can guide the mankind to the way of Allah and grant them deliverance from hellfire. Dear brothers, Islam is based on five major principles. It is reported to have said in a hadith, بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وصوم رمضان وحج البيت من استطاع إليه السبيل Number one to testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad is Allah's apostle. Number two to perform five times salah daily. Number three to keep fast in the month of Ramadan. Number four to pay yearly zakat to the poor. Number five to perform hajj once in lifetime. Respected audience, the Holy Quran is the divine book that was revealed to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by Allah. The Holy Quran is the base of all the Islamic beliefs and teachings. The Prophet of Islam is Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, was born in Mecca. Islam originated in Mecca. Later, the Prophet migrated to Medina. Makkah, Madinah and Al-Quds are the holy sites in Islam. 
Kaaba in Makkah is the center to which Muslims from around the globe face in their daily prayers. Muslims perform special Jummah prayer on Friday and celebrate festivals in a year Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. The audience, today, Islam is the second largest religion of the world. There are about 55 countries all across the world. Where Muslims are in majority, most of these Muslim countries are in the continents of Asia and Africa, while the other European, American and Australian continents have a considerable population of Muslims. Muslims constitute one-fifth of the seven billion human populations around the world. Islam teaches universal brotherhood. It is the religion of equality and justice. It asserts that all human beings are equal with no difference of color, caste and creed. Islam says that the best among people is one who is more pious. The only criterion of honor in Islam is piety and virtue. Islam regards all human beings as family of Allah. It encourages justice, transparency and good goodness. Islam prohibits injustice, oppression, social discrimination and bad habits. Here, I will conclude my talk with sincere prayers to Allah that He gives Tawfiq to follow through Islam in every walk of life.